Now that whip suits you. I'm at Newport, uh, about two and a half hours early uh, for the game today. Uh, Newport versus City. Just crossing uh, a bridge um, over the river here. I'm guessing it's the Taff, just uh, off the top of my head, because um, that goes, I think, through Cardiff. And uh, just give you a, a view of what we can see of the bridge in the background. Uh, it's a bit windy. Um, yeah, so FA Cup game today, big, big game. Uh, we want to win it as uh, we want to win everything uh, if we can, whatever game we're playing, whatever competition we're in. Hi guys, I'm here at Rodney Parade with Chez. Uh, big game today, we want to win it, don't we? Definitely, definitely. But well, that FA Cup so bad and Pep wants it bad as well. Yeah. It's all about winning trophies at the end of the day, and that's what we need to do. Yeah, it's been a long time, what is it, eight years? Yeah, 2011 since we last won the FA Cup, and unlucky in the Wigan game in 2013, so yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 well, <laughs> hopefully, you know, this will be our year this year, you know what I mean? Hi guys, here at Sir Rodney Parade, uh, fifth round of the FA Cup with uh, Mark and Harvey. I'm sure you recognise them, um, big time City fans, travel all over. Um, was chatting with Mark and actually uh, the club shop uh, was, was closed. We couldn't get a, a, a shirt uh, for a new ground for Harvey, so that's a bit of a shame. But anyway, um, big game. We want to win it, don't we? Absolutely. I mean, we fell out a big banana skin this stage last season, didn't yeah. we, at Wigan? Nobody thought that could happen. Everybody's saying the same here Can't today. Again, but can it? You, you'd like to think not, <laughs> but the FA Cup's a funny old composition for people at our age, Ray. It's still, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it's no. still, I still get the buzz of a cup. World Cup this morning. It's FA Cup yeah, day. Yeah. Couldn't wait to get here. And I'm walking around the ground now, thinking, is there a shock in the air? I can't feel anything. Well, there's, I can feel rain in the air. Yeah, I'm worried about, about this temporary stand, yeah. um, guys. It's a massive achievement for you, for Newport, little old Newport, to get this far uh, in the competition. But you've done it by beating, I mean, you beat Wrexham in a replay, um, you've beaten Leicester from the Premier League, you've beaten Middlesbrough in a replay from the Championship, they're up at the top end of the, the Championship. How are you guys uh, pulling out result after result after result? I think it's just um, home support is yes. uh, the main factor. We take, normally we try and uh, stink, stink a replay out of teams, yeah. we've done that to Middlesbrough, we stuck snuck a replay out of them and then we beat them here. 95th minute wasn't it? Or yeah, something? right at the end. <laughs> yeah. well, Middlesbrough, Middlesbrough reject, academy reject, scores Massive against, double, scores against. Yeah. And the celebration said it all. He yeah. was, it meant a lot to all those players and all those fans to get to get another chance to play them again and progress. And we brought them back here and when we done it, we did, we beat them easily. Oh, it's easy. Yeah. And we got, an, I mean, we had a big week last week. I, I did a video earlier on to say, you know, we had, we had Arsenal, Everton and Chelsea. And, and like this week, we've got this game today, really important game. We've got Schalke midweek and the Carabao Cup final next yeah, weekend. Yeah, yeah, three, three crucial games, three competitions to play for. And yeah, yeah last week was tough and we, we passed the big <laughs> test. And yeah. And this week's going to be tough, starting today at Newport's going to be tough, Schalke will be tough and Chelsea in the couple will be obviously tough, especially after what we did to them last week. Yeah, so they, they're going to be hurt, they're going to be, uh, yeah. you know, but, it was but, a humiliation. So yeah, it was great, yeah, 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 last time Chelsea got beat 6-0, I think it was against Rotherham in the old second division in 1982, so, long time ago, long time ago but we, yeah, <laughs> but, you know, but we've, um, we've, we've rubbed them up a bit, so. Yeah. Rally so and they beat us 6 0, don't forget them when we had to spend in charge. I, I, I try not to forget these big beat. Uh, yeah, but your thing, what goes what um, yeah, goes we, around we, comes yeah, around. Exactly. So uh, can you give us a score prediction then today, Jess? Yes. Oof. I might I get, I might, I I might get killed, I might get killed I there, but score. Yeah, I, I do. Um I'm gonna go for 4 0. But not that I mean Pep's, Pep's, he should be putting out a really strong team. He's still you know, we all still remember the Wigan game. Pep was so angry at half time when he went in. I can't believe he's gonna uh, pick a weak team or give anybody um, a free, free pass today. No, I wouldn't have thought so. It will go as strong as we can do. To be fair, every side, every team we put out is a strong one. Yeah. So knowing Pep, he's probably got a master plan to bypass <laughs> the pitch if it's not that good. He'd have worked out a system to bypass that. But um, no, we should be all right today. And we're looking forward to a good cup tie. Fantastic for Newport, for the yeah. town. You know, they've missed the trick a little bit with not having a club shop. Yeah, but I think that's to do that. with issues with the rugby club. But yeah. We'll see, should be a good afternoon. Yeah. Um, let's have a score prediction then. We'll start with, with Harvey. What do you reckon? 
I don't think there's going to be an upset today. I think we'll beat them. I was saying in the car on the way up that we would smash them, but now I'm having second, second thoughts. thoughts about it, and I'm, I'm going to say 2-1. Two, 2-1? One. Two, 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 one. One. I hope it's not that close. What do you reckon? Bray, he'll, he'll throw in another 10 predictions before kickoff. He'll cover every <laughs> angle, every possibility, and then on the way home we go, see? I got that I right, got didn't right. I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, I'm going 4-0 City. Oh, no, that's the second one. Special job. Um, well, I'm, I'm going to try and be optimistic, and I'm going to try and say, I'm going to say 2-1. To you guys? Yeah. And Michael? My head says 3 or 4 nil City, but my heart is going to go 1-0 County. Be with Ken, he's a lot taller than me, so I'm sorry, I have to bend a bit. Team news is just tight, so I, can you remember the team, Ken? It was Edison in goal, yeah. Danilo, Stones, Otamendi, Zinchenko. That's right. Uh, Foden, Sil David Silva and Fernandinho. Sane, Mares, Jesus. That's right. Spot on. Ken. 5-0 away. 5-0? Yeah. It's the biggest uh, prediction we've had so far. Good. But, uh, fingers crossed. Hi guys, I'm here with Ken. Uh, it's our time, nil nil. Top okay. of the first half. Bit of a non event, really. Uh, they're playing okay, they're not doing anything wrong, but the pitch is awful. They've dragged us down to their level, they've just got to keep carrying on as they are. Hopefully, a break will come. I'll take 1 0 now if we can get it. I'll take that now. Yeah. Right? I mean, that, uh, I think it was at 40 to 1 for, um, for them uh, to win the game before the match started. I mean, it is, that pitch is a level, as you say. I mean, could, could we end up losing this? Well, you could because. Uh, they probably had the two clearest chances, to be fair, yeah. only from a long throw, but even so, any corner, any any long throw is always a threat. Uh, uh, he's a yeah, he is a bit of an handful, but I mean, when we've got the ball, we're doing our best, it's just not easy on this pitch. Simon, 4 1, lads. Phil Ford got two goals. Fantastic. Well, what you do, you know what I mean? Did what well, did player. well, the kid. He's a stop what man, isn't he? He's a stop what Iniesta. And good lad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very, very good. I, I mean, wobble about, think... I wobble about, but you know, I wish I wobbled like that, lad. He is <laughs> no, the business. Side, he um, is the business. Mr. Folden is the top player. Yeah. yeah. Hi guys, it's Ray here from Man City Fan TV, just walking down the middle of the road here in Newport. Unfortunately, the way the ground is, you've got to, the away fans have got to walk out, walk around the ground uh, to get to, to the other side, because I'm hoping to get there for when uh, the uh, City coach leaves. And, you know, fingers crossed, might see one or two players getting on. The rugby team that play here, they play away. All right, mate. Sorry. Um... Well done today. Oh, cheers, mate. All the best. Get your, get your one. What's your name, mate? Logan. Logan. My name's Logan. Yeah. 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 Was, round, mate. Uh, cheers, mate. Yeah. It was a good game, Logan. Actually, uh, thought you played really well in the first half, especially. Yeah. Um, yeah. Getting nil-nil, and the second half, when you well, when we scored that goal for you, um, 
Yeah, I thought you. I thought you might just come back. I was, I was dreading it. The rest of the City fans said, "Nah, we're going to win." But you played well, mate. More than anything, I'm proud of how far we've come. Because this time two years ago, we were 11 points adrift from safety. Yeah. We just lost to a side late in Orient. We yeah. just lost to them 4-0 at that time. And um, Michael Flynn, he came in. Yeah. Since then, uh, we've had a great escape and we've made well done the miracles we already have done in yeah. the FA Cup. Well, good luck for us this season, mate. And you, and all, safe, all the best safe, next week. Safe, safe, safe trip. I think you got probably a bit less than me to get, yeah. to get home. Well, three hours? Yeah. It'll take me four hours, oh. four or five hours, because oh. it's dark oh. and it's late. Yeah, yeah it'll be about, it's normally four hours, but because it's dark, you want it to be a bit, bit more safe. I've been up since five o'clock, so I need a few coffees. <laughs> yeah, so all right, mate. The day then. Yeah, take it easy, mate. Have yeah, a good thank night. You. Thank you. Cheers, Logan. Thank you. Hey, guys, I'll go with that review again. Uh, Ray here at Man City Fan TV, yeah. So just to just to kind of carry on, I mean, that first half, I think it was a bit of a bobbly pitch. It felt small and they crowded us a bit. Uh, they worked extremely hard and that's one thing, I, you know, I'll take away from this game, um, that Newport worked really, really hard. And as I just said, they worked harder than some Premier League teams uh, to chase us down, to press us. And it's really difficult because, um, you know, our, our players have got everything. Um, they want for nothing and you know players in the lower leagues might not have I want to say the professionalism, professionalism is the wrong word but they don't have the same facilities uh, they don't have the same fitness and uh, they're, they're the lad up front uh, the tall really tall one he worked his socks off I mean that's something you can't take away and that's the minimum you've got to bring to your game uh, and today eventually I mean we had enough grit and determination uh, for our quality to shine through but uh, as I said earlier it wasn't easy it was never easy I mean Newport made it as difficult as they could for us um, you know they really really battled hard and uh, until you know obviously late on we got that second goal and you, you, you think it's all over and that comical uh, own goal and uh, you know City fans couldn't believe that it was bonkers that um, and I'm, a, I'm an old school fan uh, Cityitis hits you and you think oh no could we really chuck this away and it would be absolutely phenomenally stupid and uh, ir irresponsible uh, to chuck away a two goal lead but that's it you know it's something we can do so that was a bit worrying but uh, Phil Forden uh, I think he had a great game uh, for me uh, he always wanted that ball he was driving at them he was running at them scored two what looked like great goals and uh, yeah I thought I thought he had a fantastic game. Uh, I think Leroy grew into the game. I thought he started off with the wrong attitude. Um, you know, he didn't want to get hurt. We've got some big games coming up. But uh, I think he got going in the second half. Obviously scored, obviously scored that first goal. Um, and uh, some decent performances uh, at the back, apart from that comical uh, uh, own goal. Um, but apart from that, uh, some pretty decent performances. And uh, I think we deserved it. But as I said, you have to have that level of uh, grit and determination. You have to, you have to actually want to win it. You have to turn up uh, and be counted. And I think uh, we did that tonight. Uh, as I said, it wasn't easy. Full credit to Newport. Uh, you play like that. You put that amount of effort in. You deserve um, to, to get some good results. So yeah, I hope they have a good end to the season. Uh, Phil Fordham for me was my man of the match. I'll just throw that in there. And uh, I think Gabby Jesus worked really, really hard. And some others, they had good moments and some bad moments, you know, um, not mentioning any names. Uh, but, you know, overall, uh, I think we did what we had to. Really pleased to get through to the quarterfinals. Um, don't care who we get. It'd be nice to play at home on our big pitch. Um, you know, nice uh, big pitch and well uh, quaffered. If I can throw that hairdressing expression in um, but it'd be nice nice pitch and uh, you know don't care who, uh, who it is and uh, fingers crossed we get through in the uh, Wembley semi-final um, to come uh, stick them in there so see you around blues stick them in there